Hey, it's Nick Doherty with Royal LePage here in Aurelia, and I'm super excited to bring to you another market update with what is happening here in Aurelia in the non-waterfront residential space in September 2023 compared to September 2022. So let's get into these stats right now. Stat number one, the number of active listings were hovering around 90. This is the same as the month prior, we were at 90. Last year at this time, we were at 91. So not much changing as far as uh, the number of active listings out there year over year and month over month. Stat number two, the number of sales. We are hovering around 29 sales that happened in September here in Aurelia. And, and last year at this time, we were hovering around 33, so a few more sales. And last month, we were hovering at 26. So not much of a difference month over month, but a few more sales happened in September here, 2023. Okay, this stat you're gonna to wanna to pay attention to. This is a big one. Stat number three, the average sale price. Last uh, year at this time, we were hovering around 590,000. This year in September, we were at 626. But here's the kicker. Last month, we were around 695. So we've actually seen a decrease of 9.8% month over month. Year over year, we're still up 6.2%. However, this is a bit of a change here. Usually in September, we see a bit of an up kick because the market activity picks up and people are out there shopping for houses because kids are back in school, people aren't going on vacations, but we've seen a downtrend and a rather large one in September. House prices have dropped quite a bit here in Aurelia. Okay, stat number four, days on market. We're hovering around 31. Last year at this time, we were at 17. And last month, we were at 28. So again, things are trending up, staying longer on the market, days on market, houses are, um, which makes sense if the prices are relatively going a little bit lower. So days on market, this has been happening. If you've watched previous videos uh, throughout the last couple of months, that things are taking a little bit longer to sell. Okay, stat number five is uh, list price to sold price. We're hovering around 95.7. Last year at this time, we were around 97. And last uh, month, we were at 97.9. So again, uh, list price to sold price, stuff is selling lower. So whatever it's listed for, it's selling lower. Um, and, and it's trending down. So this makes sense again, like this is trending down, days on market are trending up price is trending down, these, these metrics are all kind of lining up here. Now, if you look at months of inventory, again, we're hovering around 3.2. Last month, we were at 3.1, and uh, the previous year, we're at 2.8. So again, we're trending up. If you've watched any of the previous videos, we're, we're up on this as well. We're hovering around uh, 3.2, but this has slowly been going up. More months of inventory, more stuff out there, and, uh, so these metrics are all lining up. But again, the important point to point out here is these metrics. If you bought in September last year in 2022, you are still up 6.2%, which isn't too bad year over year. So pretty good return on your investment. Month over month, again, we're down. Um, this is a something to pay attention to if you're selling right now that prices are dropping. So if your realtor has been talking to you or whoever's been chatting with you, prices did drop. So that's why maybe, um, you know, things aren't selling as quickly or you might not be getting the traction that you think you should be. Anyways, again, I am Nick Doherty with Royal Page here in Reading. Drop me a like, uh, leave me a comment. Let me know you enjoyed this video and I will continue to shoot these videos for you so you can stay in the loop of what is happening in the Aurelia uh, non-waterfront residential space. It's always changing. And uh, if you're into real estate, it's good to pay attention to these metrics to know when to get in and when to get out of the market. And uh, again, just drop me a like. Uh, let me know you enjoyed this video and I'll continue to shoot these videos. Thanks so much. I'll see you on the next one.